Jim with Jim's Garage Toys and I am going to be working on this project now. This is an electronic deer whistle and I've got one on this car on my 2009 Corolla Turbo. In the years I've been driving this I've hit a deer twice with it and I put on electronic deer whistle and it's been clean sailing since then even when I see a lot of deer. So I'm a big fan of these and I had a trucking company, a guy that owned a trucking company, tell me they put these on their trucks and their deer hit percentage went down by 92%. So that's saying something. Uh, so anything that can help prevent a deer from running into the roadway and in your way versus taking off into the woods or not moving at all is always a good thing. So I want to install this deer whistle because I'm getting ready to go on a road trip so I've been doing several things trying to get the car ready and I've got several of these because I want to install them on all my cars so this is what it looks like and I'll put a link to it I got it on Amazon and this is the portion of the deer whistle so this mounts behind the grill and it comes with a little package um, with some screws and and looks like 3M tape and some even some zip ties just depending on on the car and what works best to mount it so and there's two wires on here so the red wire goes to the battery and it is fused and the black wire goes to there's two wires coming from the switch this is a little micro switch they give you to mount inside so one of these two wires is really long and one short. The shorter one is designed to ground somewhere behind the dash. And the long one is designed to go through the firewall and then connect with the one coming from the deer whistle itself. So it's a very simple process. Um, I don't think this is going to take me long at all to install it. And I was looking at... I'm doing my oil change and changing the gear oil now. That'll be on a separate video. But <laughs> there's there's a, um, you see the center bar right here? You can kind of see the shadow through the grill there. I think I'm going to mount it right onto that. I think it'll make a good, a good place. And to send the, the pitch or whatever it is that it, it makes a weird sound. You know when it's on, but you don't hear it when it's driving. But if you stop, you'll you'll notice it. So, and then if I come into the car, I think I'm gonna put the toggle right here. So it'll be nice and easy to get to. And I'm gonna use the same hole that I ran through the firewall when I was I'm installing the fog lights so one thing to make this easy is take an old coat hanger and so this way I can take the wire to it and poke this through and send the wire through the firewall so anyway we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the wire to it and we'll poke it through and continue from there I took the wire, put some tape around. I couldn't find my electrical tape, so I don't know what I did with the roll of it, so a little painter's tape should work just fine. Just attach it to the hanger, and now I'll poke that through the same hole that I drilled in the firewall uh, when I did my fog lights. So I thought that would show you where I'm going into. Let's see if I can... with the camera. Uh, oh, there it is right there. So, so it's right up just just at a, to the top left of the where the accelerator pedal bolts in. So 
you can see the uh, the sound deadening material there. I just slid it out of the way and drilled a small hole there. So I'm trying to show you. Tough to get in there, but so you can see the blue right down here. So you can see it's right. I did it right next to that big grommet. There was a p. There was an area of the metal that I could get to. So, so the wires poke through now, so I can take it off and then route it, connect it to the to the whistle, and I'll be in business. Okay. So, both wires are run down through the the hole here. I'll drill. I'll drill the hole the size of that. So I'll measure that and see what I need to drill to slip this through and then screw that, that nut right there on to secure it. And so the long wire is run through, I see it loop down there. It's run up through the firewall now. And the short wire is run uh, somewhere. I got that hanging right here somewhere. And, um, so I will, in fact, I've got this other ground wire I never attached because um, everything seemed to work okay with it, but I'll go ahead and ground that one too. That's actually for this up here. They said you didn't have to use it on all cars and it's working okay, but eh, if I'm gonna ground it, I might as well ground both of those together. So this wire here and this one, I'll ground them both. I see a perfect screw down there that's used to ground something already. So, um, I'll go ahead and get the ground done and then I'll use some tie straps and get this wire up out of the way. And then I'll put this panel back in. This goes up under here like that to keep everything tidy. So there's just two screws that hold that on right there. So, and if you watched my install of right there of my pedal commander, I showed how that goes in and out. So here's the switch all installed. So you can't put a full size switch like this right here because there's a screw behind it. It's one of the points where the dash is um, attached. So but this little toggle switch worked great that they provided. So just on and off. So that'll work great. All right, now to finish up under the hood. Got this uh, all buttoned up too real quick. So the, let's see if I can see it. There's the, there's the ground right there that I did. And I should pick this wire up. I got everything tie strapped down and secured away from pedals. So, and I got the little cover. You can kind of see it from underneath. So, back installed. We're good to go. So, here you can see where I mounted the electronic deer whistle. So, I mounted it directly to the the brace, the member support there behind the grill. So it came with some 3M double stick tape, which I cleaned off the metal and applied that. And then I wrapped a tie strap around it. So this is looking up at it. So you can kind of see how I did that. And I just put some uh, corrugated tubing around the wires and then just ran them over and up to the battery area. So where I connected the positive to the battery and the negative to the negative wire that I ran through the firewall from the switch. And she's all done. So here's the switch. Did that. So toggle up. And there's the... <laughs> There's the sound that this one makes. <laughs> so.
So this is why I said you can hear it when you stop, but when you're driving down the road, you don't hear it at all. So you will never forget it on. <laughs> so and then flip the switch and she's off. So pretty sweet. Done deal and hopefully I don't have any deer encounters on my trip. <laughs>